Hello and welcome to the 27th video in this series programming a chess engine in GUI and JavaScript. I've had a bit of a, a holiday, a couple of weeks holiday break from the video so I hope I can dive in where I left off last time or at least remember where we were last time. I think at the end of the last video we just completed inside movegen.js the non-sliding piece move generation part of the move generator with the placeholders for captured and quiet moves. And now we need in this video to do a very simple thing and that's simply update and add in the same kind of code for the sliding pieces as well. So we'll do this in exactly the same way. So we'll call this loop as slide piece and you can tell I've been on holiday because I can't type even worse than usual. And we'll have then exactly as we had in the loop non-slide -slide piece here we just need to add the various pieces in here that we've got and I'm going to be lazy and paste those in to save a little bit of time because it would be horrible to sit there watching me type that out so in this way and then also we need then our loop and we'll call it slide piece index and this index in this case will be index with a naught as for the non-slide but of course this time a 4 because we have more sliding piece indexes to deal with here because black starts obviously here at index number four in the array above. So that's all we need to add to uh, defs.js and now we can move into movegen.js and actually the function that we're going to add in is going to be or the part of the function is going to be another while loop like this and it's going to be very very similar in structure to what we've actually added in here and the only thing we actually need to add in is for non-sliding pieces we can straight away just take each direction from the direction index, add that to our current square and assess whether that square is a capture, off board or whatever. With a sliding piece of course we need to change this section here slightly because we need to iterate adding direction until we go off the board or hit a piece. So to save a bit of time what I'm first of all going to do is take these two lines up here and now I'm going to scroll everything down a bit and make some space and just paste them in here and take the non out so we've got our loop slide index and our loop slide piece in this way. And now what we're going to do is, as for above, we're going to say while piece is not equal to naught, and then open and close some brackets. And in fact, I'm going to be lazy and take the code in. Let's take actually the entire code that we've got inside here down to the piece equals non loop non slide piece here, piece index and paste this into here and I'll just scroll back down so I've pasted this here inside the while loop and I'm going to take out this non here for the slide piece first and now just go through the function here and I'm going to change the bits to adjust it to allow us to iterate for a sliding piece so here you can see on this line this is where we say our next square is the current square plus the direction that we're moving in so it's here that we want to make a slight change so what we're going to do here is we're going to say while and then we're going to say while square off board for our target square is false. So whilst we've not gone off the board we're going to do something. So I'll just take this away and take this continue away like this and hope this doesn't all become a bit unreadable and just tab this along and put back in a bracket here. And what we'll say now is that if pieces on t-square is not empty then that means we're going to end up breaking out of this while loop but before we do that we need to see as for with the non-sliding piece whether we can add a capture or not and once we've seen whether we can add a capture or not we simply break out of the while loop in this way and now we don't need this else here to add on a quiet move so the way the code's been changed very simple just to reiterate here we've got the for loop going through our directions for each for our piece type as normal we add on to t square our direction to get to add on to square sorry our direction to get our temporary square and now we say whilst we're not we've not gone off board at temporary square have a look at temporary square and if it's not empty and it's the piece on that square is of the opposing side then have a capture otherwise break out of our slide or our iteration because Oops, I don't need this if here, sorry. Because 
Um, we, if you if you've gone off board or you've hit another piece, then obviously you can't slide any further. You can only slide across empty squares. So we break out of the while loop here. Otherwise, if the square that we were looking at wasn't empty, then we can add a quiet move. So we'll put a placer in placeholder in here now, just to say add a quiet move, because that'll be a function call. And now the critical difference between this and the non and the non sliding pieces is we now add our direction again to our t square, so that we then iterate to the next square in the direction that we're looking. So then the while loop would ask this question again: Is the square off board? Yes or no? And if it's still on the board, have a look whether it's empty or not. If it wasn't an empty square, then make the capture necessary, otherwise break out of the while loop. Keep going until we go off the board, and then go round to the next type, piece type here. So it works very similarly then in, in the end to how the non-sliding pieces work. And the good news is, is that's actually it now for the move generation function, all of this code. And the next steps we need to take now is we need to start adding in the parts where I've put the, the functions that replace these placeholder comments that I've made all the way through the move generator here. And we'll start that in the next video. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.